When we unbox the Google Pixel Watch, you're going to notice it has a circular design like most watches do. It differs from the Apple Watch, which is more of a square rectangular design. It also has a stainless steel coating surrounding the watch's face for maximum protection. And in addition to this, it's also protected from splashing and scratching. So you don't have to worry about scratching it. That won't happen. And on top of this, it's okay if you get some sweat on it. There's no need to worry. The watch will be completely fine. But let's unbox it and see what all the features it has to offer with this brand new Pixel Watch. So to disconnect the band from the actual Pixel watch face itself it's super easy to do. you just want to use this button that's next to the band right here and that allows you to detach and attach the band to the pixel watch's face all you have to do to detach it is just press this down like this then slide the band over this area right here and just like that the band is no longer a part and connected to the pixel watch's face super easy to do now let me show you how to put it back on the pixel watch's face so to connect the band back to the face of the pixel watch all you have to do is just put it down and press down with the band on this little button that i just showed you and all you have to do after you do that is just slide it in just like this super easy to do and now it's connected back on the pixel watch's face and keep in mind that the Pixel Watch also comes with another band that I just showed you, and you can use that band as well to connect your band to the Pixel Watch's face. Super easy to do. Now let's dive into setting up the Pixel Watch and connecting it to our phone. So right when you turn on your Pixel Watch using the crown right here, a little tab's gonna pop up on your phone that you're using saying Google Pixel Watch device app is start to set up. So you wanna go to the Google Play Store and download this Pixel Watch app to get started. Super easy to do. Let's click go to Google Play right here. And now we're gonna be able to install this app to get started with this watch. Just click install right here, wait till it downloads, and then we'll go from there. So to swipe down for quick settings, all you have to do is swipe down like this. And now it's gonna show you all the settings that you can access directly through your watch's face. I'm gonna dive into all these settings later right here in the control center but let's click check right here now that that is all set and now it's going to ask you to swipe from the left edge to go backwards so if you ever want to go backwards you just swipe from the left edge of the pixel watch that way just like this and now we can also learn about tiles so let's click this check right here and now it's going to say tiles are accessed from the watch face and show helpful information from your app specifically so let's click check right here swipe left or right to cycle through your tiles so for example if we swipe this way it's going to show my steps for that day we can keep swiping to see other titles like heart rate and also there's two buttons on the pixel watch we have the crown and the side button right here you use the side button to contact google assistant i'll dive into that later but let's learn more about them by clicking this check right here and to press the crown you can go back to the watch's face so whenever you press this button right here it's going to take you back to the watch's face just like that and then you can also return to the watch face anytime. So let's click check mark right here. And now from the watch face, press the crown for more apps just like that. So if we do this, it's gonna take us to all the other apps that we have on our Pixel Watch. And as you can see, we have all of them right here. Simple as that. And you can get all of your apps from directly going this way. Let's click check. And now you can also press the side button to see recently used apps as well. So like I said, you can use this for Google Assistant, but it has multiple functions. So if you wanna see all the recently used apps, you can click the side button right here at the top above the crown. Just click that right here. And it's going to take us to all of our recent apps that we've opened. We have Fitbit and you can access all these recent apps from anywhere at any time. So to switch to your last used apps, you just have to double press the side button just like this. And then also if we go swipe right like this, it's also gonna show you more features like talking to your Google Assistant. So watch what happens when I hold down the side button to contact Google Assistant. Hey Google, show me the weather. Currently in North Andover, it's 57 degrees and partly cloudy today. And that's how you use Google Assistant. Like I said, you can either say, hey Google, or hold down the side button right here. As you can see, I just said, hey Google, and it popped up. But this is one way to use it. There's two features, but this is a super cool thing that I definitely recommend setting up on your Pixel Watch because it comes in very handy and you don't have to pull out your phone to contact her and ask her anything that you need. You can also use the crown right here to contact and bring you to the Google Pay page. Now, I don't have Google Pay set up, but if I did, watch what happens when I double click this crown right here. It's gonna take me to Google Pay. I have to have an account and I have to add a card to that. But if you already have that set up, I definitely recommend setting this up right here. It comes in very handy. Instead of having to pull out your phone to use Google Pay, you can do it right here on your Pixel Watch. And I just showed you when you hold down the crown, you can have the option to contact SOS or emergency services, but there's also an alternative way to do it. I'm not gonna do it myself because I don't wanna contact them. But if you wanna actually alert emergency services, all you'd have to do is just rapidly press on the crown right here at least five times, and that'll actually contact your emergency services just by 
by doing it that way. You don't have to pull your phone and dial 911. You just have to press this rapidly and that'll signal your watch to contact emergency services in case you didn't know. And as I previously showed you, if you swipe left or right, you can see certain titles and information directly to the face of your Pixel watch. So for example, if we start swiping like this, it's gonna take us to our steps and how many steps we've walked that day and how many you're trying to reach for a specific goal. And you can change that obviously. We swipe right again, it's gonna show your heart rate at the moment. We swipe right again, it's gonna show you some exercise options like running, biking, or sprinting. You can also choose more and I'll show you all these exercises later because they offer a ton. We swipe right again. It's also gonna ask you for a Fitbit today so you can log in your Fitbit mobile app to see your sleep trends as well. I'll also set up Fitbit later on in this video but just know you can see this as one of your tiles. We swipe right again, it's gonna give you the calendar, it's gonna give you the weather, and it's also gonna ask you to search certain things if you'd like to with these tiles on your Pixel Watch. So that's how you navigate around right here. But let's go back to the watch face. And I wanna show you a little bit of information about the watch face itself now. So as you can see, this is the face that started off when I set up this Pixel Watch. And I honestly like it. it's a nice display. It's very simple too, which I like. It shows the time, the calendar, and then also if we click on it, it shows how many steps I've walked that day. It shows right here, if we click on this, it's gonna take me to my Fitbit stats again. Then also it's gonna show my heart rate on the right. But if you wanna change this, for example, all you have to do is just hold down on the watch's face like this. And this is the utility watch face itself at the moment. But if you wanna edit this, you can just click edit right here. And now we have the option to edit this face. And the first thing that we can change is the color of the icons and text on this watch face. So we have lime right here, but if we click on that, you can choose tons of different colors from lemongrass, pear, spearmint, fern, tons of colors to choose from. So it's completely up to you. I like aqua, I think that looks good. I think that's a good fit. You can completely change these up to your preference. Then if we swipe right, it's gonna take us to our modulars. So our modulars are different icons we can edit. So if we click that right here, we can choose different layouts for this design for this watch face so we have modular one modular two minimal so for example let's just try out modular two we can see what that looks like it even shows like a little thing that says 11 a.m coffee but let's go back and try the other ones out let's go modular three for example it's going to show this it's pretty similar to the previous one i also want to see what minimal looks like so minimal is very simple it just shows the time itself I like, honestly, I think I like modular two the most. So I'm gonna stick with that one, but you can choose these different layouts for your watch's face right here. And now for the next section, you can choose which icons you want to be shown on the face of your Pixel watch. So say you wanna change any of these, let's go back right here. You can actually choose different complications to add for this specific face. So for example, if we wanna change this 11 a.m. coffee chat thing right here, we can click on that and choose different complications like the weather, next event, moon phase, and media control, or battery. So let's click battery and have that shown instead. So right now it's gonna show that battery and I can alter this with any of my other icons right here. If I wanna change this, I can go to, let's try moon phase right here. And now it's gonna show the moon phase at this moment in time and this specific date. So this is how you can change the complications and icons on the watch's face. Let's swipe right and you can choose if you want bold time or not. So if we click bold time, it's actually gonna make the clock and the time bolded completely up to you. This is how you want to design it depending on what you prefer, but I'm going to keep it off like that. But this is how you actually edit and change the faces on your Pixel Watch. The Pixel Watch offers tons of different faces for its screen. So you can choose tons of them. This is only one of them, but if we hold down right here, let me go back and hold down like this. If we go and swipe right, you're gonna see other designs that you can choose as well. So we have this classic one right here. We have everyday, we have concentric, radial, tons of options to choose from. I like track, for example. So if you wanna set that, I already showed you how to edit all of your different watch faces previously in this video, but you can choose any of these faces that work for you and you can go from there and edit them however you want. Full custom ability with this Pixel Watch. Definitely recommend trying them out and giving them all a spin to see which one you like the most. Now the next feature I wanna talk about in the control center is pretty self-explanatory, but we have the flashlight right here. So watch what happens when I click this icon. You're gonna see the screen of the Pixel Watch starts to bright up and act as a flashlight. So you can use this if you don't have your phone with you or if you don't wanna pull it out of your pocket, you can use your flashlight on your Pixel Watch instead. Pretty self-explanatory. And if you click it like that, it starts to turn red instead of white. And if we keep clicking it, it's gonna shut that off. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If 
If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device. Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables and upgrade to the two in one lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the links on the screen and down in the description, enjoy. The next two are also pretty self-explanatory. Right here we have Google Pay. Like I said, I haven't set that up, but I showed you how to access it earlier on in this video. We have airplane mode right here. You just want to turn that on when your flight's about to take off so it doesn't interfere with the connection of the plane. And then if you click this icon right here, it's actually going to cause your phone to start ringing and vibrating, notifying that it's near you in case you lost it. So listen to what happens when I click this. My phone's right next to me, not on the screen. And just like that, it helps you find your device if you can't locate it. It'll create a large sound coming out of your phone. So you can use that if you can't locate it right away. That's another control feature. Then if we go over here, we have our brightness. So you can actually choose how bright you want your screen to be. We have adaptive brightness turned on right now. And you want to keep that on because if you have that on, the Pixel Watch is actually going to adjust the brightness depending on your location and how bright it is in your surroundings. So I always have this on because then it just adjusts based on where I am. But you can also increase your brightness by clicking the plus button right here or decreasing the brightness by clicking that minus button. And then this icon right here is actually bedtime mode. So if we click in this watch, what happens is you have the option to turn on bedtime mode. And with bedtime mode, your watch screen tilt awake and touch are turned off. Alarms, priority, and repeat callers will interrupt. So I suggest using this and turning this on before you go to bed so you won't get any notifications or won't feel any vibrations or sounds coming from your Pixel Watch or your phone so you can get a better night's sleep and you won't get distracted. So you can always turn on bedtime mode just through the control center on your Pixel Watch. If we go back to the control center right here, let's just click cancel. And then we go back, we're gonna see we also have this icon right here. And if we click on that, we also have the option to turn on do not disturb. So you'll only get notified by important calls and apps. And you can adjust this in settings, which apps you feel are necessary to be shown regardless if you have do not disturb turned on or not. But this is how you can access that. It's similar to bedtime mode, except you can turn this on at any period of the day. And then we also have theater mode right here. And you can turn on theater mode and that'll turn off the screen and screen wake gestures and silence all alerts. So this comes in handy if you're in a movie theater or you're watching something with your friends and you don't want to be disturbed and you don't want other people to be disturbed while watching that movie, you can turn this on and you won't get any notifications so you can enjoy that movie throughout. And then this one's also self-explanatory. We have our battery icon right here. This is going to show how much percent you have left on your Pixel Watch. I still have to show you how to charge your Pixel Watch. It's super easy. I'll show you that later on in the video. But this shows how much is left and you also have battery saver option you can turn on right here. And this turns on this turns off always on screen and tilt awake to extend your battery life so if you don't want to reduce your battery and it's getting low i recommend turning this on we don't have to right now because i'm only at 51 percent. but if i was getting lower you can turn on battery saver right here now let's go back to the control center and then we also have our settings so there's a lot of settings to look through i'll dive into all these later but this is how you can quickly access all your settings right through the face of your pixel watch then lastly we have our ringer so i have my ringer turned on right now so that means whenever i receive a notification i'm going to hear a sound coming through my pixel watch but if i turn that off now i'll just hear a vibrate or i'll feel a vibrate through my pixel watch instead of hearing a sound i like to have my stuff on do not disturb or my ringer off so i don't hear notifications instead i'll hear that vibrate completely up 
to you. But these are all the control center features you have on your Pixel Watch. I'm gonna dive into all these settings now, but this is how you access the control center just by swiping down like that. Right now we're on the settings of our Pixel Watch and there's just a few I wanna talk about because a lot of these are self-explanatory, but I wanna go to the display section right here. You have the option to change your watch face, adjust brightness, but I wanna talk about sunlight boost, which is a pretty cool feature that I didn't know about. And if we click on sunlight boost, I have that turned on right now. And this essentially will temporarily boost your screen's brightness when you're in direct sunlight. So you can actually see what's going on on your screen when it's bright around you. So I have that already turned on. I think when you get the Pixel Watch, it has it turned on, but you can turn that off if you like. But that's one of the features and settings I wanted to talk about. So let's go back right here. You have your font size right here, and you can also choose how how long you want it to be before you go back to your Pixel Watch's face. So I have after one minute, and you can choose immediately right here, two minutes, five minutes, completely up to you. But essentially after one minute, since I have that turned on, after one minute, it'll go back to my watch face. After two minutes, if I click that, it'll go back to the watch face. So you can choose any of these options, completely up to you. I prefer having after one minute, but let's go back to our settings. That's a little bit about the display right here, but I wanna show you a few others. So health profile is one I wanna talk about as well, because with the Pixel Watch and any smartwatch, it's important important to help keep track of your data and all your health and well-being right here through this Pixel Watch. It comes in very handy and you can actually click on health profile and you can see your gender, your weight, your height. And depending on that any of those have changed, you can edit that right here and then all your health data will be adjusted accordingly to all of these metrics right here. So that's how you can access that. If you want to go to this, you just go to settings and you go to health profile. So first we have magnification and by turning this on right here, it's actually going to increase the size of everything you see on your screen so you can see it more clearly and largely. So if we turn this on, I just wanna show you what that looks like and you can enable it right here and you can triple tap to zoom in just like this. And as you can see, it actually magnifies my screen. This is completely up to you if you have trouble seeing or not. I prefer the way it is, but if I wanna go back, I can just go back like this, then go back to settings and go back to accessibility right here. And I wanna dive into a few other features in this section. Another feature I wanna talk about is Talk Back right here. So if we click on that, you have the ability with Talk Back, a screen reader that will convert the text to speech for people who are blind or have low vision. So this is similar to magnification. If you have trouble seeing, you can turn on Talk Back and it'll actually convert any text into speech so you can hear that and you don't have to see that. I'm not gonna turn this on, but you can completely choose this. You also have a button shortcut and you can turn that on as well. And by doing this, you can triple press the side button right here to turn Talk Back on and off. So this is for people who are blind or have trouble seeing. So I'm not gonna dive too much into that. Then let's also go down here and I wanna show you about power button ends call right here. So if you're talking to someone on the phone, you can actually talk to them under Pixel Watch instead. And if you turn on power button ends call, by clicking the power button right here, it's actually gonna end that call no matter where you are or if you're speaking on your phone or Pixel Watch, it'll completely shut off that and end that call right there. You can turn that on, I have it off right now, completely up to you. So you can actually create an alarm directly through your Pixel Watch and then when you receive that alarm or when it goes off, you'll hear that alarm through your Pixel Watch or you'll receive a vibration instead. So just to show you, if we click plus right here, you can choose the time, the PM, AM, the hours and the minutes for that specific alarm. So if we wanna do this right here, we just click that and now that's gonna be my alarm in 23 hours and 59 minutes and it'll go off as soon as that alarm is hit and that time is reached so that's pretty self-explanatory right there let's go back we have google assistant i'm not going to dive into that because we already discussed that we have our contacts so all your contacts that are on your pixel or your phone are going to be synced directly through your pixel watch so you'll have all of those right here and then one of my favorite apps on the pixel watch is fitbit exercise so if we click on this right here you're going to see tons of different options for workouts you can choose like run bike, workout, and you can explore more exercises. They actually have tons of exercises right here. And you have a Fitbit account you can log in as well. But if we go to all exercises, you can see tons of them, even from boot camp, circuit training, they even have golf and like kickboxing. Essentially any workout that you wanna do, you can find on this Fitbit exercise, which is super cool. So depending on what you like to do when you work out, you can have that option on this app. Then if we go back, there's another Fitbit app right here, Fitbit Today. So if we click on that, it's gonna show your today's stats, like everything like your health, how many steps you've walked, how many floors you've climbed, distances, calories burned. It's going to give you all that information and you can set goals as well. So say you want to reach a certain amount of calories burned or a certain amount of steps, you can help reach those goals and set those and customize those on your Pixel Watch. And then you'll receive a notification when you actually exceed or accomplish those goals. So that's pretty cool right here. I think this is a great app to track your health. 
we can go back right here and let's go to the other apps. If we go flashlight, I already discussed that, Google Wallet. One of the coolest apps right here is the hand wash timer. So you can actually use your Pixel Watch to count how long you need to wash your hands for. The standard time is 20 seconds, but if we click on this right here, it's actually gonna say wash your hands, always use soap. So you turn that on and now a 20 second timer is gonna go off, which is the normal amount of time you wanna do to wash your hands. And then after this time's up, it's gonna vibrate. Your Pixel Watch is gonna let you know that that time is up and you've successfully washed your hands. And then we have media controls right here. So if you click on this, you're gonna see that nothing's playing at the moment, but say you're listening to music or any audio on your phone or with your Pixel Buds, you'd actually see that song playing right here as well. You can listen to it through your Pixel Watch if you like. You can even increase or decrease the volume depending on how you wanna do that. So this is how you can see what music or audio you're listening to at the moment. We go back to our apps right here and scroll down. You're gonna see messages. So I wanna talk about messages cause it's pretty cool actually. You can see all the recent conversations you've had on messages through your Pixel Watch right here. And you can even start a new chat right here just by clicking that. You can choose any of the contacts that you have in your contacts on your phone and create a conversation with them right here. And they also give you automated like suggested texts to send like, hey, how you doing? what time is it and stuff like that. You actually have automated and customized texts that you can send out that are suggested through your Pixel Watch. It's actually pretty easy to send out messages if you wanna do it, or you can view messages instead, completely up to you. But that's the messaging app on your Pixel Watch. Let's go back, we have personal safety right here. And for safety and emergency, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can contact emergency services by clicking that, and you can also see emergency location services. So you'll automatically send your location to emergency services responders directly through your Pixel Watch. You don't have to go through your phone if you're in some sort of trouble and you can't pull out your phone, you can use your Pixel Watch instead because it's easy to use, it's right on your wrist. Let's go back to apps. We also have our phone. So like I already told you, you can speak to anyone through your Pixel Watch as a phone. And if you click this button right here, that'll actually end the call. So that's one other app we have, the Play Store. If you wanna download more apps, you can do that right through here or on your phone yourself. I already walked through the settings and the stopwatch. And you can create a timer right here, just click this. You can choose how long you want that time to be. And you can start a timer and you can add to that as well. A lot of these are self-explanatory, but I figured I'd walk you through these. We have weather and we also have YouTube music. So a lot of Android users use YouTube music as their music platform. You can go to this, you can see all the songs you have on YouTube music and you can play them anywhere through your Pixel Watch, your Pixel Buds and your Pixel phone. They're all compatible with one another. So that's a great feature. These are all the apps I just walked you through. And if you wanna get more apps, you can go to the Google Play Store, but all these are pretty cool, especially Fitbit exercise and Fitbit today. I suggest using those every day to track your health and well-being. But these are all the apps. You can check them out right when you get this Pixel Watch. Now let's dive into a few more features. So I walked you through tons of different features to set up and use your Pixel Watch, but I already previously mentioned that you can actually access a lot of these features on your phone, for example, as well. So I have the Pixel 6 right here. And if we go to the Pixel Watch app that you can download on the Google Play Store, you're gonna see all this information that I showed you. So you can choose your watch face, you can edit your tiles, you can go to all the settings that you have that I just showed you on the Pixel so watch tons to dive into right here. If you prefer doing it on your phone, you can definitely do that because I know a lot of people like to use the phone because it's a larger screen. So it's completely up to you, but just know you can access all these features on your phone as well when you get your Pixel Watch. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is a complete beginner's guide on the Google Pixel Watch. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvib.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. And in addition to this, go give us a follow at Fine VIP, which is our Instagram account. We're going to be sharing the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all products out there like Apple and Android. And lastly, while you're at it, I also encourage you all to go to bestrewardsapps.com and check out all these amazing apps that allow you to win incredible rewards and prizes right through these apps. All of them are incredible. They're all affiliates of ours. They're definitely worth checking out. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.